I'm Beverly Ann Katz Mazak. And today I got a bunch of emails and the redundant. First now, answer the one question. You cannot politicize God Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. He is God and he is who he is. The Alpha, the Omega, the beginning, there is no end with him. He's eternal. So why would anybody try to politicize God? Can't do it. Now, we do not need a church building to put him in the four walls of the church. He's everywhere. He's in your home, he's in your heart, he's everywhere. So you cannot put him in a box or in a jar and say, oh, I'm going to open it a little bit and let God out a tiny bit here and there. And then, whoops, I'm going to shut it because I don't like what he's doing. Okay. Obviously, you don't have a real relationship with him if that's the case. God does not live in a box or a glass jar. That was, <laughs> I almost cracked up laughing when I read that. Okay, just like your Bible. You need to read from Genesis to Revelation. You cannot just open it up and say, yeah, I don't like this. Yeah, I don't like this. Oh, I like this. You can't do that. you got to read the whole thing in the context of the whole thing, which is either seven verses above or down, wherever those commas are. You keep on going up until there's a period and keep on going down until there's a period. That's the context of it. Now, the other thing, you don't need a pastor to teach you either. I had an email saying, well, I can't learn anything about God because I can't go to church. That's a fallacy and a lie of the enemy that's Lucifer. The devil would have you to believe that. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He'll guide us into all truth. That's his job. We have to let him. So you can read, you can study the Bible for yourself. You have no excuses. The excuses you have are redundant and stupid. You can worship God in your heart, in your home, wherever you are, in your car, wherever you are. You don't have to say it out loud. You can do it in your head from your heart, though. You can have 24 hours communion with God through your heart, right here. Nobody needs to hear you. Now, like I said, you can study the Word of God for yourself. You don't need a pastor or a teacher or whatever. Start today. Take advantage of the lockdown and get right with God. Repentance and ask Him to show you what you need to learn. Forget about the dogma and the technoke and man's theology and man's doctrine if it ain't in the Bible it ain't good name it claim it blah throw it out twisting the word of God throw it out faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God you gotta read it for yourself to order to get the big picture there's no excuses for this Remember, the Holy Spirit is our teacher, our guide. He will teach us all things. You need to open your heart and allow the Holy Spirit to teach you what he needs to teach you. Start reading from Genesis to Revelation or whatever book of the Bible that God lays on your heart. That will be the stepping stone to grow. Now, we need to fight this battle, the COV-19, yes it's real, but we're losing our freedom and we need to stand up for our freedom. In Jesus' name, Father, I let, ask you to touch their hearts, their minds, their souls, their spirits, cover them with the blood, add your protection around them, put the whole armor of God on them. You should be saying this every day for yourself. <clears throat> Pray for your children, your family, your grandkids. 
Let this time be a reflection to repent, get rid of the bad things, and let God sit on the throne of your heart. Because that's where he lives. We are the church. The church is in our hearts. We don't need a building. We don't need a pastor. We have the Holy Spirit who will teach us all things if we let him. That's the key. Let him.